Now then guys, welcome to Strides Gaming, I'm Luke and this is my Rag to Riches on Escape from Tarkov with 79 raids in at level 20. I feel like I'm doing okay. Task wise, we've still got a fair bit to do. Oh, well, we've got loads of tasks to do, but today I'm going to, the first thing we're going to do, because I really want to try and get Peacekeepers quest lines open and to get peacekeepers quest lines open we need to do friends from the west and to do that we need to kill players seven use x as you've seen me play the game so far any sort of pmc battle we've had i've not come off good but we're going to try something different we're going to go the first raid today and like if we if we have a look at the gear situation we're on we've got plenty of gear it's fine money's a little bit low we are going to hopefully try and do a bit of a money run with the with the scav try and make the most on that on interchange just to pick up some money so we can get some more loot as obviously because we're only sitting at 333,000 but we have upgraded the hideout quite a bit obviously we upgraded the stash as much as we we can now that's kind of the main thing we spent what three and a half million ruples on the stash probably just close to uh, it, it was close to about 3.8 I think it was after buying all the stuff for it we need to get this on the go obviously we need to find some stuff here so we get workbench level two going that would be good and then slowly building up again on the uh on the old hideout to get things going then it means we can get some crafting going on but we're gonna start straight in we're gonna go factory <clears throat> i'm geared it's gonna be interesting i've done a couple of factory ones just with a load of scams running at me just to get me a little bit warmed up um, this could go one or two ways. This could go with me literally dying within the first second of me hitting the fire button, or it could be we do all right and get a couple of kills, and <laughs> we're just going to have to see how this goes. It could be terrible. It could be good. We, I don't particularly know how it's going to go. Okay. We have started in an all right place, actually. We need to get kills in and around this area, so move straight away into the uh, into this area here. Just trying to listen around, see if we can. It's also quiet at the minute. Can't quickly loot the safe, haven't we? This is where I get annihilated for looting the safe. Quick. It's just ridiculously quiet. Where the hell is people? They can't all be dead already, can they? Huh, interesting. I could have looted the jackets, but... Um, 
Fucking scab just wrecked my arm instantly. Any keys? I'm tempted to bring the slayer up here, actually, and put that there. Maybe not. I don't know where that's actually coming from, but... I need to have a look. Scab just completely annihilated my arm, though, didn't he? It's coming from this direction. Red metal. I wonder if he's up here. <clears throat> it could be down below. I heard some metal. Down below. It's like the quietest I've ever had a bloody factory run. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that literally scared the living crap out of me. He was sat at the bottom. I didn't even see him, to be honest with you. Literally, as soon as I went to go peek that, he was he was on me instantly. Oh, well. What a shame. That was really weird how quiet that raid was. SMB. I didn't want to heal, use all that. Okay. The experiment over. But I didn't. I literally didn't even see him. I, I'm surprised they didn't go into the office area. Like, I managed to loot the safe. I didn't, obviously. I could have made the motive, most of all that looting with it being so quiet and trying to get out there, but we wanted PMC kills and it wasn't the kind of start we wanted. It seemed quiet. Ugh, it is what it is. I wasn't expecting him to be there and literally as soon as I moved my head around that corner, he was already kind of on me, shooting me dead, to be honest with you. So, it's fine. We've got plenty of gear. I'm not too fussed about losing what we lost there. Uh, we'll put this ammo back. So that's there. That's fine. I'm starting to think what we need to do next. We'll have a quick look at the task and see what we've got to do. So we've got to kill scav some woods, but that doesn't really mean anything. Customs, we've got more kills to do in customs. We need to go find the briefcase uh, to get into do... Uh, is it dorm room 114? I'm pretty sure that's 114. Um, I don't know which room that is, but it's in the two-story of the dorms. We need still need to kill two more PMCs with pistols. Uh, more scavs on customs. We've got to go again on customs. We can maybe finish chemical part one, potentially. Friends from the West, again, we're trying to do that farming. We need to try and get the bits for that. Obviously, we need to go find the CP... Uh, yeah, the PC CPUs. We need to get two more of them. Gunsmith, we're not going to look at that. Make Ultra Great again. We've done that. We just need to get these two other stores here. And then there are a couple of Woods ones. Okay, we haven't done woods in a while, and then we need to do the, the other bunker task. But before we do that, I'm going to quickly jump in on my scav. And why I'm scabbing, 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 we're just going to go into interchange and try and get just as much loot as we can. Oh, we are in. What gear have we got? Anything good? Right, we'll put you there. And there, we'll put you there, we'll put you there. And a splint. Okay. Where are we? We are... Ollie. Nice. So, first thing we're going to check is in here. This doesn't normally get looted. And we're going to check the computers along the way. Because we've got a decent bag. We need some... We just need to find the computer parts. Oh, GP coin. First one of them we've found. DVDs and... The grey screwdrivers let you craft the... Oh, give me a gun. 
DVDs and screwdrivers. What do they let us craft again? It's PS ammo. I'm just thinking for... I know it's not the greatest ammo, but something better for close range. It lets you create the circuit boards, which at the minute are selling for about 30 to 40k on the flea market. Well, it is... What's from the last time that I checked? So we'll go this way. This computer's here. How long's left in the raid? 24 minutes. There's still quite a bit left in the raid. People might come here. I don't know if they've, they've checked this already, but... We'll go. There's a couple of computers in here to check. A duffel bag. What the hell? Two horses in a duffel bag, eh? Should be really checking my corners as I walk into rooms, though. That's just a bit stupid on me there, because like someone could just be sat waiting for me in this room, and then I've just completely, completely ignored them. There's a couple of computers in here we can check. CPU fan, and there's a computer over here. There's bleach and stuff that spawn on that over there, which I've managed to find. Also, you get the beard oil in here as well. HD job. We're just going to take anything that's kind of we can at the minute, and then we can decide to get rid of what we want to get rid of. Circuit boards. Wires. It's me I can hear walking around. We'll search. There's computers along here. Not in this one. Probably the next one. What are those computers there? We had shots. Well, there. Uh, One hundred percent just saw someone then. Looks like just a player scab, there's a dead body just there. Is he looting? Giving a position away now. Should have. I see you. That was very, very low. He knows where I am. Let's try and move quick. Just looks like it's a normal player scav and move away. So he's gonna hear me running. Away from him. I missed my shots. So there was a couple of easier chance, especially when he was looting. I was taking my time thinking, well, was he looting that body or not? We can move around. There's computers around here we can check. Hmm, interesting. That just sounded horrible. Kind of glad we moved. I'm not gonna lie, because that sounded like killer's beastie of a gun. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> I'm really glad we've just moved. That USB on the top there. Never find USBs in computers. It's going to be a DVD in it. Yeah. Just listen, because I, I do want to survive this raid. I get We've not got any armor or anything like that. I think, obviously, the guy we shot at before was a scav. Definitely a player scav that was looting. Fact that it's gone quiet though. It's extremely dark, so I have done it again at night time, I know, but just need to get the loots. <sighs> All these computers have not found... Oh, there we go. There's one CPU. I was about to say, we've not found one CPU yet. I just need one more. Gonna give me look. We've got the fans. I think the fans are still going for quite a bit. I'm tempted to kind of head towards the extract now. Right, we're full on loot. If we get it out, we can vendor some of this stuff and make some money. Say, so, any wins a win. Let's take it nice and easy. Like I say, then, I didn't have to shoot at that guy. I wanted to go check the computers in the middle. But, I didn't. I don't think the scouts will aggro on me, but. We're going to make it down and out. I'm, I'm going to check the stash, though. I always do. And it's probably going to be the downfall fall of me one of these days checking this stash. Because it's going to get me shot. It really will get me shot. We're going to run this way. Jump over here. Oh, it's nice that it's light outside, though. It was definitely a beastie fight that was going down. It was probably that other guy that was looking for me. And then probably checking the tech store. Because this late on, people don't tend to check the... Well, people do obviously check the tech store. But uh, we'll take the BP ammo. And then we'll ditch you. And we'll take you. Right, that face shield, I'm pretty sure we can vendor for quite a bit as well. And we need to make some money. Because uh, we're a bit short. So I want to get ourselves up to back over the, the million ruples mark. And then I can start looking at upgrading the hideout. But if we make this out alive, which we pretty much should do, it's going to be a decent scav run for the first time in a while. Because the past couple of scav runs have not been great. But that will do. Obviously, I just avoided that fight in the end. He knew where I was. I just ran away, to be honest with you. You're just, you're just running. We need, we need the loot. We need the things. Obviously, we've got one quest item going on there got the face shield which we can sell for quite a bit we've got a mosin we've got another gun again i might just vendor 
that gun. BP rounds pretty decent. We've got some good bullets for the Mosin as well for the for the tasks. And we've got some meds as well. Splint is really hard to come by at the minute for me. And bandages always good. We've got that there. We can bring out sunglasses. We might just wear the sunglasses. You never know. The knife and the little helmet. So stuff to vendor quite nicely. So I, what I'm going to do is quickly vendor all this. Put the stuff on the flea market. See what how much money we get just from doing that little bit of a raid, and then I'm thinking we're gonna go customs. So we managed to vendor stuff and we've got ourselves back up to half a mil, which is really really nice to see. We, we again the money's always fun, so I'm just gonna try and sort another quick loadout for us to have. Um, we're gonna go, we are gonna go customs, I think, and I'm just trying to figure out what gun we want to use. Um, radar maybe. I think we got the good ammo for the ADAR though. Maybe we do just a quick AK build. Oh, screw it. No, we're going to go ADAR. We're going to take this ADAR. We're going to unload the ammo. We've got ammo here as well. So we've just uh, got some mags here. So let's just unload the ammo and take out. Have a look at the ammo situation that we've got going on at the minute. Oh, we have spawned in. Um, right, okay, so, how do I want to do this? I need to head over this direction to go get my quest item. I hate kind of spawning in this direction, because there tends to be a lot of traffic heading towards new gas, but we're going to... Have a look. I do want to take on fights. Like I said, we need to get these U-Set kills. Just got to watch out people behind me. A lot of shooting going on already. That was aimed at me or someone else. Wasn't wasn't at me, was it? All the bushes for no reason whatsoever just to make noise. It's that sensible Luke. Oh shit! Two scavs. I'm not looting that scav. I'm just gonna avoid him. Drop that first scav like a motherfucker, didn't I? Obviously, there was some grenades and stuff going off to our left there. I can 
quickly search what's inside you. M855 ammo. That's where we got to go to go get a thing. We used the good ammo in the first magazine. Obviously, I don't think we used all the ammo, but... Key's not there. Come on. Thank you. Now we've got to try and survive the raid. What you got for us? King car battery. Lovely stuff. Now we're overweight. So I just now I can't I keep always think that that's a bloody um scab up there, there's a lamp post. Okay. It's going that lights that lights on. Could that be one of our extracts? Hmm. We're gonna open. Not being funny, but if this is on. Never normally on. Grenade box and dead guy. Not being funny, but that is better ammo than what we've got at the minute. I think it is anyway. I can't remember what the good ammo is and what's not good ammo. Croutons. Then we're going to drink this apple juice. I'm not going to lie, when I saw them two, um, two scabs, I definitely thought I was done for. Oh shit. Sort my life out. That was a that was a player just there. That wasn't a scout. That was a player. It destroyed my arm though. I'll we'll go loot in a sec. I'm pretty sure that was a player anyway. Just literally just saw his head and then boom. Pop the motherfucker. I don't think it is a scab. I don't think scabs stay up there. I was not expecting him to be there. Play it. The USEC player as well. We need the dog tag. We're going to... Got the dog tag. Thank you very much. And nick your AK. I'm being shot at. I think. He 
kill PS rounds. We'll get rid of you. We're going to dr drop that mag. Yeah, okay. Adar back out. Okay. That's one new set kill. And the green smoke is on. Which means potentially we can get out just here. Is it part of our, one of our extracts? Uh, nope. It's not part of one of our extracts. Shots going off. And all I want to do is get out of here now. Okay. We're kind of a bit too much now. So we need to just remember sprinting is bad for us. I'm going to go left. This way. So we've got to head over to Big Red over that way. Trusty little Adar so far. Doing well, getting me the kills. Obviously, no raid's completely done yet, is it? It's not not done and dusted. But hopefully, everyone's moved from the left-hand side of the map to the right-hand side of the map. We've got our quest item. We just kind of want to get out. Just making sure scab boss isn't there. Obviously, I've run into scabs. I've run into players around this bit of the corner around here as well before. But... No need to run. No need to rush. Let's take our time a little bit. Even though I really, really want to go check for intel, I'm just not, not doing it. So that door's not open, which suggests obviously no one's been in it this side. If anyone's in there though with headphones on, they've heard me coming from a mile off. Yeah, but the door's shut, so suggests someone's been in there. Me walking across the open like this is really, really freaking stupid. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm hoping this extract's open just up here. Not always going to be the case. The car battery's a big find as well. That's some decent money for us. I know you need to find them for quests coming up later on. But. Right now. Just got to watch out for scavs. The light's not on. Dead scab there. Doesn't mean it's not up. Right, this is the bit where we're going to run. We're going to run and get across here. And just hope that no one is camping. 
mind. Don't. I don't know if that is it is. I don't think it is. But... Sounds like it is behind us, but... Okay, let's see if we can try and get a stamina up this way. Just got to head towards the extract now. We're on nerve-wracking times, Lukey boy. Right, okay, I'm going to run here at this point. I can probably stop here for a sec. Get a bit more stamina up. And then just run again. And hopefully... Ooh, hopefully we can get out of it. It's going to be a decent raid if this is the case. And lie down. Okay, so, what? Two scav kills, a PMC. Come out with some decent loot. Quest item done. That is a good customs run. I enjoyed that. I did enjoy that run. Three thousand XP, headshot and a headshot. That first scav literally just went down like a sack of god knows what. It was a headshot to the face. Obviously, the second scav eventually got him in the end, but that poor level twelve usec. But again, we need the usec kill, so I don't really care. We are also level twenty one after this raid. No, but we'll be after we hand in the quest item. Um, PS ammo. Uh, we've have we got the grizzly still? I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna just. Heal that up. So we're going to hand in the quest items. We've got a car battery as well. So we've got some stuff to sell. We've got a gun as well we can play around with. Let's see what we've got. So dealers, we're going to hand this straight into Skia. Um, and then we need to hand in the key that we've got as well. 220 key. There we go. That's completion done. Nice. Chemical part two that opens up, which is the 220 key. Okay, interesting. This is find the evidence. I'm guessing this is a, a dorms task. We can then turn in this dog tag. So we only need four more dog tags, six more USEC kills, and we'll be there with that. I'm really happy with that task getting done, to be honest. We'll be really, really happy with that. Then, obviously, that's put us over to level 21. Then we've got some uh, stuff going up. And that AK, I'm probably going to use that AK uh, if we get some decent ammo for it. Again, I need to tidy the stash up. It was it was looking tidy at one point, and now it's not at all. So we'll use the AK. We've got the mag for it. Right. So, car battery. Also, that would have leveled up our strength as well we'll probably vendor you we'll have a look at them bullets this sort of stuff we'll vendor we will use the meds we'll get rid of you then we can put this bag okay two lots of wires i think we need the wires that's why i'm not selling the wires then we'll just kind of put these bags inside the bag so how much are the car batteries going for at the minute uh, let me just there we go is that right about seventy-two thousand. Oh no, 41. Okay. Uh, do you know what? I might actually hold on to it. I might hold on to it for the quest later on. I don't know how far off we are with the, the quest for mechanic. But what about these? Oh, 1,300 around. Okay, thank you very much. We will sell you 1,300. Okay, that is that done. For a free key, I don't think that's going to sell for a lot, is it? We can probably vendor you. 
and get rid of you. Okay, we picked up a splint. Put you there. What I'm generally tempted of, of doing right now is I could take this AK and we could go into factory and just try and do another factory run and get some kills that way. But let me just vendor this stuff here. So this is the loadout we're going to go with. We're going to try again. We're going to try and go factory again. Um, we've put BT rounds into this gun. We just need to try and see if we can get these uh, these USEC, USEC kills. Uh, we've got the 220 key there. There's some packer armor. We can. We might as well take all that. We'll try factory again. It, it could go terribly wrong, or it could go all right. We've got any grenades? Thinking about it, we might take. I've got. A grenade we can bring with us. Again, this could be the same as what happened last time. Do we need I don't need to take the backpack in with me. I don't really want to lose the backpack for no apparent reason, so we'll won't go backpacked. Now if we get any gear off people we'll We'll grab the we'll grab the gear of what we get, but again, not too fussed about it. Just want to try and have have a bit of fun, shall we? And try and uh, try and get a couple of kills if possible. It might not even be possible. We might just die within the first encounter as we do. Um, I didn't. You know, I'm glad he had a decent scope on it because I actually didn't check the scope. But the gun wise, we're not really losing any any money out of it the armor is it's decent armor it will, it will do us we, we've insured it if we get it back we get it back helmet again cheap enough so it's just cheap enough armor and a helmet that we can wear the rig as well it's just cheap enough so it's not going to be losing too much money going into this raid with this sort of a uh, sort of raid but what i don't want to do is die instantly i want to give it a good go you know good couple of shots off someone at least if it's a battle and a die and we trade shots, that's fine. But I just don't want to spawn in and die instantly. Right, we're in. I'm being swarmed. focus on that guy there shall we Dude, that was really struggling. Is he there or there? What I should have done is probably gone back and healed, but.
I still think there's another guy around. There's another guy that was proper badly hurt. There's a guy I can hear running around at the bottom. I died. He got me with the flashbang. Right, okay, cool. That's what we needed. That was fun, though. It was fun. Two set kills at the end. So, we can go straight into... Skier, friends from the, from the west. We can hand in the one dog tag. We could have checked the other guy as well, actually. Got his other dog tag. But now we only need, what, another... Five more kills? No, four more kills, sorry. And then we're going to do that. But I might try and do that in each episode just to see if we can try and get that done, see if we can get some good USEX kills quite quick. But we'll call that an end of an episode today. We have finished on level 21. We've got a couple of tasks done. Like, what I want to do is get the uh, Friends from the West done quite quick. So obviously getting the USEX kills there. We got quite lucky there with the other person running up the stairs. And obviously there were two focusing on them, so I could easily just pick them off on the back. The back, and also the dude with the knife almost knifed me to death. But we've done all right. So that was it was an alright raid. It, I'll take it. It is it it will do. We've got did a good customs episode, ended up on a decent factory run, and we ended up with a decent loot haul from a scab run. So really hope you guys have enjoyed that. Take it easy. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are, and I'll see you in a bit.